Hello everyone, welcome back to our third video in our equations unit, unit three. Today we're going to be doing equations with rational coefficients. We've done addition equations, subtraction equations, multiplication equations, and division equations. So we're gonna put all those together and we're gonna talk about rational equations. So these are equations that have decimal and fraction coefficients. So remember the term coefficient means the number that is attached to a variable. So we're going to be looking at equations that have variables uh, with numbers that are fractions and decimals before. As you see here, we have a 0.25n instead of like say 5n, or we have uh, you know negative 2.8, negative 4.7. All right, so first look at all these. These are all multiplication equations. So remember, anytime you have an equation, I like to draw a line down the equal sign just to show that there are two equal halves, how do we balance the equation? You got to undo what is in the equation. So these are multiplication equations. The opposite of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by what is attached to the variable. In this case, 0.8 is attached over here on this side, 0.8 times M. So the opposite of times 0.8 is divide 0.8. So I'm going to divide 0.8 here. What I do to one side, I need to do to the other, divide 0.8 there. It's ugly, but you can hear my voice, and therefore you can understand my terrible handwriting is as I say it is. All right, I know, I have a calculator here. You can use this. I can do this in my head uh, because I've been doing this for a little bit of time. Uh, if you move the decimal place, you can actually see, right, it's 64 divided by 8. So M equals 8. That trick doesn't always work, but it sometimes works. You never know. Okay, they're all positive, so we know it's going to be a positive answer. Over here, same thing. It's it's multiplication. We're going to divide by negative 2.8 in this case. Now, this one's not quite as easy. The trick doesn't work. You move the decimal out. It's 42 divided by negative 28. I think it's 1.5, but let's just double check. 42 divided by 28 is 1.5. A positive divided by a negative is a negative. Remember, one negative in the problem in multiplication or division will always result in a negative answer. If there were two, they cancel out. It's a double negative. The opposite of a negative is a positive. All right, now, like here, we have a negative divided by a negative makes it a positive. So what I do when this happens is I just kind of ignore that there are negatives in the problem after I write them. I just do 10.81, whoops, divided by 4.7. I didn't even write the negative. No, I did write it there. And I get 2.3. So really, these are not hard, especially if I have a calculator with me. Remember, you can be using a calculator this entire unit to check your work. Um, I'm missing that check step so far. So let's just go back and check this one. It's always important to check to see what you get. So in this case, we did negative 4.7 times 2.3 is negative 10.81. All right. It's important to check because you need to make sure you're doing it right. Anytime we have an equation, you can always make sure, is my answer right or wrong? Okay, there's no excuse for getting any of these wrong because you can just plug your answer in and make sure it's good. Let's take a look at a word problem. Uh, ice cream cones cost $2.80 each. So $2.80 per cone. How, how many ice cream cones could the coach buy with $42? Okay. Multiplication equation, so we're going to divide by 2.8. I'm going to cut that zero off to save some time. My handwriting is brutal this morning. I'm recording in the morning, I guess. 42 divided by 2.8. Bam. 15 cones. Let's go, coach. By the whole team. Now, remember, this is a word problem. So anytime you have a word problem, you need to have a label in your answer. 15 cones. I'm going to take a second. I'm going to do my double check. 2.8 times 15 is 42 ba bam the check works it always works now what happens if you have fractions okay same thing i'm multiplying a fraction so i'm going to divide by a fraction i'm multiplying by a negative fraction so i'm going to divide by a negative fraction you don't have to worry about this keep change flip all that jazz okay we're using the calculators at this point we're not worrying about all that all right i will work through a couple examples in the next video so see you in a second 